the next time you fail me will be the last time you fail me. Welcome to Ms Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the television characters we think deserved better. Watch out for spoilers ahead. When would you leave? Now. Number 10, Raj Kuthrapali, The Big Bang Theory. If there's one thing The Big Bang Theory had going for it, it was just how great its lead characters were. We all expected great things out of this group of boys, and for the most part, we saw that come true, except in the case of Raj. How committed are you to staying in California? This is where my work is. This is where my friends are. But are you happy? Not for years, what's your point? At the end of The Big Bang Theory, pretty much everyone was both romantically and professionally fulfilled, except for Raj. Before the series end, he broke up with a woman who was seemingly perfect for him. Let's stay here, with the people who love you. Well, what if this is my last chance at marriage and family? He then watched as two of his friends won Nobel Prizes, while his career remained stuck where it was. Sure, it's fun to see him flirt with Sarah Michelle Gellar, but it doesn't fix things. Just to be clear, this isn't a date. Yeah, I know. And why are you holding my hand? <laughs> Number 9, Lane Kim, Gilmore Girls. When it comes to Gilmore Girls sign characters, Lane Kim was one of our favorites. Whoa. Blondie, Sonic Youth, Television, Talking Heads, the list goes on and on. I said yes. It's okay to say yes. I guess it's okay. <laughs> Apparently, however, the writers didn't like her quite as much as the rest of us. Otherwise, they might have thought a little harder about her ending. Lane had dreams of being a rock star when she was a teenager and actively bucked her mother's attempts to make her settle down. I don't want to go to Seventh-day Adventist college anymore. I want to be able to play with my band. I want to be a drummer. And yet she ends up married to a guy named Zach and raising twins. Yes, this might be more realistic than Lane's dreams of the big stage, but we wish she was given the chance to rock on. I think we kind of have to tell your mother you're pregnant now. Oh, she is so going to kill me. I mean, you're starting to show. Of course I'm starting to show. My body is filling up with two growing people. Number eight, Jin Su and Sun Hua Kwon, Lost. When you think about where Jin and Sun started at the beginning of Lost, it's pretty amazing that they became one of the audience's favorite couples on the show. <laughs> Jin's controlling manner made it hard to root for this couple at first, but as we learned about the characters' backstories and as their relationship evolved, they became one of the best romances we'd ever seen. As Lost went on and got weirder, the two lost each other and traversed across time, literally, to find each other again. But when they do find each other again, almost immediately, they end up dying. Their relationship's end is tragically romantic, but we wanted more. I love you, son. I love you. <laughs> Number seven, Bonnie Bennett, The Vampire Diaries. Pretty much every character on The Vampire Diaries has been through a great deal of trauma, but almost no one went through more than Bonnie Bennett. I'm not hungry, thanks. Well, Bonnie, you need to eat something. I will. Later. Right now, we need to be looking for crimes farther away from Tennessee. Throughout the series, Bonnie repeatedly sacrifices her own happiness and puts others before herself. And then she meets Enzo. Audiences were so excited to finally see Bonnie get a taste of romance. All this love, I will never stop fighting. I will brave the oceans and sail past the sirens to find my way back to you. But then it was all ripped away, and by Stefan, no less. To see Stefan kill Enzo, leaving Bonnie alone with no happy ending, was devastating. 
Honestly, we're still having trouble forgiving Stefan. Oh, let go of me. What do you care what happens to Elena, huh? In a minute, you're gonna be dead anyway. Number six, Justin Foley, 13 Reasons Why. At the beginning of 13 Reasons Why, Justin Foley was far from a fan favorite. You wanna hit that again, right? Sure. Oh my God, seriously, Justin? Why would you send that? But as the series progressed, Justin's story became far more complex and his character evolved greatly. So it was devastating for fans when season four began teasing fairly early on that Justin would die. You told me you would stop. I did. I, I mean, this, this, this is just what it must be. He contracted HIV and ended up passing away as a result. What's worse, at his funeral, each eulogy uses his diagnosis as a warning for the other students in attendance. It's not a very sensitive way to treat the disease and uses Justin's death as nothing more than a plot device. And the pain that we are feeling today is to remind us every day to do better. Number five, Fiona Gallagher, Shameless. For most of the run of Shameless, Fiona Gallagher is the beating heart of the family. She serves as a surrogate mother for her siblings and is really the reason everyone is alive. I'm not asking for your pity or your admiration. I just wanna be able to give these kids everything that they deserve because they're great kids. So it was quite surprising when Fiona decided to leave the family at the end of season nine. We understand why Fiona might have wanted to follow her dreams for once, but to leave without so much as a real thank you from her family felt forced. Go as far away from here as you can and don't ever look back, okay? I'll always be here for you. And the fact that she didn't return for huge family milestones, such as Mickey and Ian's wedding, feels improbable at best. That's not the Fiona we know. Helped. I did it all, Frank. <laughs> well, that helps you sleep better. Number four, Logan Eccles, Veronica Mars. And I'll need a ride to work after. How far away do you work? Are you gonna keep talking this much? Because we could forget the whole thing. Let's go. When fans finally got a fourth season of Veronica Mars in 2019, they were ecstatic. Everyone was excited to see our favorite detective back and in action. And we were also pumped to see how Logan and Veronica's relationship would progress. Logan was always the show's quintessential bad boy, but he got an amazing redemption arc, especially throughout the last season. Is this where we kiss? I'm a civil servant, it's your call. Let's go for it. I'm nothing if not traditional. Then his arc was used to heighten the tragedy of his untimely death. After Logan and Veronica got married, Logan was blown up by a bomb. It was shocking and ultimately incredibly unfair to both Logan and Veronica. Because you want children who will inherit our qualities. I want to marry Veronica because she's the toughest human being I've ever met. Number three, Daenerys Targaryen, Game of Thrones. Go by Gaby! Axiosentas, Mentiosentas, Kiloni Pilos Lue Vale, Torbiosentas, Ininini Otrigatas. Listen, we always knew there was a chance Daenerys Targaryen might break bad. Madness runs in the bloodline after all, and we might not have minded this turn if it was done well. But if there's one thing most fans agree upon, is that the final season of Game of Thrones was everything but done well. Your sister knows how to use her enemies' weaknesses against them. That's what she thinks our mercy is. Weakness. I beg you, my queen. She's wrong. The downward spiral for Danny's character development was sped through so quickly that the arc seemed like it came out of nowhere. To sit and watch a character who had been through so much and developed over the course of seven seasons all of a sudden go bad? It was torturous. What about everyone else? All the old 
all the people who think they know what's good. They don't get to choose. Number two, Lexi Gray, Grey's Anatomy. There are a lot of characters in Grey's Anatomy, but one of our favourites out of the crop who were introduced after the series beginning was Lexi Gray. Which one is she? The one with the juice box. <laughs> and one of our favourite couples that the show ever produced was Lexi and Mark. It seemed like Lexi would finally be the girl to halt Mark's playboy ways, and his love for her was some of the strongest the show had ever seen. I can't think about anything or anybody, and I can't sleep. I can't breathe. I can't eat. And I love you. I just... The iconic plane crash episode of Grey's Anatomy is memorable for a lot of reasons, one of which is Lexi's horrible death. Crushed under the plane, she knows she is going to die, and her last moments with Mark are heartbreaking. She and Mark both deserved more. Because we're supposed to end up together. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Lexa the 100, another example of the kill your gaze trope. In peace may you leave the shore. In love may you find the next. Regina Mills, once upon a time, she got romance with Robin, but it was ripped away. Robin died to protect me. That's what true love is. Sacrifice. It's giving up everything for the person you love. Ruth Wilder, Glow. Ruth's storyline was interrupted by an untimely cancellation. I'm coming. I don't understand you. Yes, you do. Probably better than anyone. Cordelia Chase, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Cordelia the character and Charisma Carpenter the actress deserved more. Santa. I can't see you. Villanelle Killing Eve. This is one psycho we will always miss. Stop it! <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Pusey Washington, Orange is the New Black. The guy who watches sleepovers when you're a kid. And then you have to run to your mom at the end, hug you, tell you it was all made up. Over the course of Orange is the New Black, Pusey Washington became one of the most beloved television characters ever. She was a sweetheart and her smile could light up a room. Of course, the writers knew her death would be the one that would affect audiences the most. But that doesn't mean they should have done it. Pusey was killed by a police officer because she tried to help Crazy Eyes. The murder was one of the most horrifying things we'd ever seen in the show. And for this show, that's saying something. We will always wonder what Pusey could have achieved, and we will always miss her. Trust me, I'm pissed off just like you. I ain't hungry, I can't sleep. And every time I close my eyes, I see her. If we missed any of your favorite TV characters who didn't get the ending they deserved, let us know in the comments below. I need you to know me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.